The McAllen ISD Board of Trustees has planned the 1718 budget using a tax rate of $1.15 and a half. A severe weather event that occurred in May of 2016 has allowed the district to use their declared disaster tax rate option. This grants McAllen ISD a one-year change to leverage our M&O and INS tax rates to maximize state funding. The move will bring the district an estimated increase of $7 million in additional state funding without increasing the total tax rate. How is this possible? The Board of Trustees will set the total tax rate at $1.15.5. The district's M&O tax rate of $1.04 will be increased by 11 and a half pennies, while simultaneously decreasing the INS tax rate by 11 and a half cents. It is important to note that this tax swap will not increase the total tax rate you pay. School districts are funded through different sources, local tax dollars, state funding, and federal funding. Local tax dollars are collected and go into two different funds, maintenance and operations, the M&O, and interest and sinking, or INS. The M&O pays for everyday operations, including salaries, books, and building maintenance, while the INS side is similar to a mortgage and can only pay the debt on school bonds. So basically, the declared disaster tax swap shifts 11 and a half pennies from the INS side to the maintenance and operations side. The reason for moving the 11 and a half pennies from one side to the other is that the state of Texas will give McAllen ISD more funding for M&O pennies than for INS pennies or what they call debt pennies. The shift in pennies will not cause a change in the total tax rate. It will generate an estimated $7 million in additional state aid to be utilized for one-time expenditures. This is the ninth year in a row the McAllen ISD Board of Trustees has elected to not increase the total tax rate. The district will continue its tradition of excellence and achieve the most effective and efficient use of taxpayer dollars.